glad to have Paul back. Yeah, of course. He's uh, he's a, an outstanding player. Uh, we're starting to get um, all of our guys back little by little, and that's uh, that's always a positive thing when you have a full complement of guys to select from, especially somebody as talented as uh, as Jermaine. Did you, you get to him out there today? Yeah, I mean, I spoke with him yesterday, um, and he was out getting some work in yesterday, and then today he was out doing a little bit more work. Uh, we sat down yesterday and chatted for a bit. Um, he's excited to be back and looking forward to uh, the stretch run. This is in the league. This is these are the exciting moments where, for us, every game is a playoff game. We've got to get results mm -hmm. and we've got to position ourselves to get into the playoffs, and then uh, and then more fun starts when we get into the playoffs. So he he understands where we're at. He understands. Uh, um, that this is sort of crunch time, but that's why we have big time players, and that's why he is a big time player because he can step up in these moments. Is he committed to the team? Uh, there the is, the he is, he is in a on a program of coming back to answer your question. Um, this weekend is will be very very questionable, um, but I think uh, we have a build up plan hopefully to get him ready for the following. So LA is more like more re more realistic, yeah. Um, in your conversations with him, is he committed to the? Yeah, absolutely. He's, uh, you know, he's he's happy to get back. He's he feels fit um, in terms of healthy. Uh, so now we just build him up, and as long as he doesn't have any reaction to each step that we take and get in progressing him, uh, then we should have him back hopefully sooner rather than later. Um, but he is, I think he's excited about the stretch run, uh, and he's excited about um, getting in and helping the team get to the get to the playoffs. Is he excited about next season. Uh, we haven't even talked about next season, to be honest. Um, for me, again, it's the next game. Uh, we need to look forward to Portland and trying to get a result. And while that's happening, it's trying to get Jermaine healthy uh, so that he can be a, uh, an asset for us through the stretch run here. Greg, I think he's played like 150 minutes in two games since July 11th. Uh, yeah. How realistic is, is it to expect him back in full form when he does return? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's uh, our expectations will be put into place as we see him start to train, really. Um, you know, now he's been doing a lot of physical work just to get himself uh, healthy. Uh, but once we get him into the training sessions, and, and our training sessions, especially early in the week, are pretty heavy. Uh, so we'll have a good indication of where his fitness is uh, and where his form is. But um, he's, a, he's a gifted player. So uh, my, my, uh, what I expect is that he'll, he'll catch form pretty quickly. Uh, especially based off some of the things that we're trying to accomplish as a team or what we're trying to do, I think he'll fit in fit in nicely. You changed Michael Bradley's role a bit more to an advanced position in midfield. Do you see any change in Defoe's role compared to what he had when he was playing under Ryan Nelson? Uh, not really. For me, it's creating relationships with players. Um, so, you know, this past weekend with Michael and Oso, Oso is naturally a little bit higher player, and, and Michael um, likes to help us play out and set up our attacks. And so it was, it's a relationship thing. And same thing with, with uh, Jermaine is creating a relationship between he and, and the other striker or, or the attacking midfielder or whatever we decide to go with is, is making sure that guys are playing off of each other and we don't have a bunch of individuals sort of doing their own thing. And, and uh, I think over the course of the match this week, hopefully we, we or you saw that there are some relationships that are building between our wide players and relationships that are building between our midfielders. And uh, when we do that, we become a better team uh, and, not, uh, and not a group of guys who are, who are sort of playing in improvisation all the time, but we actually have some set attacks and things that we're trying to set up. Was Chivas, uh, could you say, a bit of a build-up to, to Portland? Because Portland's uh, probably certainly a, a different beast, so a little bit more quality on that side than Chivas USA. Yeah, I mean, Portland, is, uh, they've had a good run. They have a good team, clearly. They are a good attacking team. Um, I think what's important for us is that we, we recognize what, make, what things make them a good team, but we also understand what makes us a good team, and I think we saw some of that for this, this weekend against Chivas. We did some things that we can build on, and uh, I think by and large the group is feeling confident. You know, We could have very easily taken three points out of Chicago the match before um, with the way that that ended, and, and we picked up three points at home this week. So for us it's to continue working on the things we're working on, continue building, but um, I wouldn't say it was uh, the win gave us confidence for sure. Um, and we know that we're facing a, even a different, a different system because they, they play a 4-2-3-1 versus Chivas who played more in a 4-4-2. Mm -hmm. So that, that, that adjusts things a little bit for us in terms of what we're trying to, what spaces we're trying to get into. But um, all things we're preparing for this week, but I think the guys are working hard and they're, they're gaining confidence every day. Is Warner healthy and does that uh, change uh, Michael Bradley's role possibly if he's available? Uh, Warner is getting healthy. He was on the field uh, for part of the session today. Um, I still think he's a little bit questionable for the weekend. We'll, we'll see as he progresses through the course of the week. 
Um, I don't know that that changes necessarily Michael's role or not. We'll we'll see as we get closer. Again, it's starting. It's continuing to try to build relationships with guys on the field, so um, so we can play to everybody's strengths.